Hello and welcome. I am Sachin Brahme with Avaya Serviceability Engineering. In this video, we'll see how to create agent keys using editor application in Avaya Proactive Contact. The agent keys contain the keys that enable the agents to perform different actions while working on a job. For example, releasing a call, releasing a record, scheduling callbacks or recalls, transferring calls, etc. This can also determine which actions are supposed to be available for the agent to perform and which are not supposed to be available for them. For example, if you don't want the agent to be able to place a manual call, then you can take out the manual call key from the agent key file used on that job and thus that option on the agent screen will be grayed out and so the agent won't be able to use it to place a manual call. Until PC 3.0, you had to use the character-based interface in menus to create agent key files. But PC 4.0 and PC 5.0 have this feature in editor, which helps you to create agent key files. Please note that these are applicable for the Avaya PC agent application and any custom agent API which imports the agent key definition from the proactive contact system. For any customer created agent API which works on its own key file definition, this video does not apply. For creating an agent key file, you have to first log in to the editor application and go to agent keys section. Currently, I am on that window and you can see I have three default keys file already present in my system. It also shows the type of the key file which tells you what type of job is that key file supposed to be used with. So for the first two, it's showing all which means any kind of job and the third one is for sales verification type of job only. Let's click on one of them. Let me click on ag underscore cmd1. So the first two columns are for the hotkeys which you can use to invoke these actions. Third column is description. The fourth column is the action that the system performs. Then there is completion code, the message to be played while releasing the call and the screen number. So looking at the actions column, you can understand what each of these keys are doing. You will see multiple release the line keys and they will be with different completion codes. There is the key for scheduling callback, placing do not call, transferring call, hanging up on the line and placing manual call, etc. So we will create a key file now and it's a good idea to look at the default key file first and maybe keep a screenshot of this page that will help you to understand which keys are you going to require for the agents on your job. Now to create a new file, we will click on the new button at the top. It will bring up the agent keys creation wizard. Click next. Provide a name for your key file and a brief description. Then click next. On the next screen, it will ask if this key is for a sales verification job or any type of job. Let me choose any type of job here and then click next. Then on the next window, it will ask which features do you want to support for this agent key file. You can select one or all or none of these. So based on what you select here, it will ask for creating keys for functions related to that feature. For example, let's select all features here. That is manage dialing, sales verification, NVDT, etc. So I'll select all the checkboxes. Then click next. So you will see that it starts off asking for configuring keys related to manage dialing. Then in the next page, it asks for sales verification keys. Then on the further next page, it asks for NVDT, etc. To save on time, let me select only two features. So I go back and select only two features here. Let's say do not call and agent owned recall. Then I click next and it asks me keys related to the DNC feature. In the first drop down, you will see control shift and alt keys. And in the second drop down, you will see the function keys. So I can choose either from the function keys or a combination of shift control or alt keys with a function key. I select F1 here then click next. Then it asks me for agent owned recall feature. So here I have three different functions, setting a recall date and time, setting a recall on manually entered number, etc. Let me select keys here also. So I'll select F2, F3 and F4. Then click next. And it will come to the end of the wizard. When I click finish, 
you will see the key file on your screen with the keys that we have configured on the right pane. So till this point we have created the keys related to the features that we selected. Now right click and click append. Now we will add new rows and create other keys for other functions. For example, we will create a key for release line, let's say for a sale. So I provide the description as release line for sale. Choose the action as release the line. And assign a completion code to it. Similarly, we will create another row, another key. For description, I'll give release for no sale. Choose the action as release the line again. And assign a different completion code to it. Now we will need another key for release record. So I'll do a append row again. Choose a function key. Give the description as release the record. Choose action as release record. And don't assign any completion code here as we have already assigned them in the release line keys. So typically you will have more than one release lines and only one release record. So on the next screen I have created all these keys with the functions which I require for the agent on my job. And this is where that screenshot of the ag underscore cmd1 key file which I talked about initially will come handy because that will help you to identify which keys you need and which you don't. So you can see that apart from the release lines I have assigned keys for functions like manual hang up, manual call, placing call on hold, transferring call, changing screen on the agent application to a different screen for releasing a call and playing an automated message to the customer etc. So you can add more or remove keys also by doing a right click and choosing append or delete. For example if you have added a new completion code in your system and you want that to be available for the agents in the list of the completion codes while they release the call. So you can come here and do a right click, append a new row and add a new release line and assign that new completion code to it. Once you are done with creating your key file, you can save it in pending mode and in the next day, that is after the midnight maintenance cycle, it will be live and you can then use it on your job. Now let's check on the job side where we assign the key file to a job. We log into the editor application and go to the job section. Click on a job here. You will see this parameter here with the title agent keys definition file name. Currently you see that key file ag underscore cmd1 is assigned to this job. If you click on this drop down here, you will see your new key file being displayed here which has become active after the midnight maintenance cycle. You can select this new key file here and save your job. So from the next time when the job runs, the agents will have the functions and release codes available to them that you have assigned to this new key file. And that concludes this demonstration. Thank you for watching this video. For any questions or feedback, you may write to us at mentor at .com or at Avaya Mentor on Twitter. For more details and other technical information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.